Hello and welcome back to Harvest Block. Yes, this is episode two. And I know I did say I wasn't going to do too much off camera. Sorry, guys. I've done a little bit off camera. I couldn't help myself. I'm just so into this pack right now. I think it's really, really cool. Um, I will just quickly run around and just show you what things I've actually got up to. So I've made this massive area of grass, okay? And this is going to be for me later on when I go ahead and play with Batania. And also I made this massive area to hopefully try and get some animals to spawn naturally. That's kind of my bit of a, a game plan here. Also, I needed to get some grass, just regular grass by bone mealing it to get some regular Minecraft seeds like this. So I can actually create the Inferium seeds, which are here. So you just wrap it up with Inferium and then you actually get an Inferium seed. Now, behind the scenes, I've actually created something here as well, which is called Tier 1 Soil. And to create this, you just wrap up a piece of dirt in an Inferium, and then you get this Tier 1 Soil, which then, with that, you can actually create all these different seeds. So I've actually created Water, Fire, Stone, Nature, and Ice, but I can't create the Zombie Seeds. And today, I want to try and get... A tier 2 soil and get some zombie seeds so we can kind of finish this whole tier 1 section of seeds off but the main 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 thing I want to do is get uh, where are they there they are iron seeds which we need aluminium copper and a tier 2 soil minimum to get iron seeds and it's only got a 25% chance so that is a bit of a game plan, and yes, I've got a zombie head on because I, I don't want the googly eyes anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to hide them. I'm absolutely full of wooden swords. I've been killing away at this mob farm. It's an absolute beast. I'm level 17, and I'm just going to show you here. I've got loads of creeper heads, loads of skeleton heads, and I'm obviously wearing this um, zombie head. Also... I've created quite a lot of basic drawers here. That's for later on when I want to actually upgrade and make different levels of um, crops, basically. Like I said last time, I'm going to put the essence and then whatever the actual thing creates below it, basically. So, for example, here I've got some stone seeds. Currently, I'm kind of just upgrading all of these so I can get them all to 10, 10, 10. But in this chest right here, I've already got a 10, 10, 10. Well, three of them. For the Inferium, which is pretty good. So I went for this one first because I feel like it's quite needed, really. So I'm going to just grab all this stuff I've got here. And I don't know if I've got any dirt in here. Probably not. So let's just take a stack of that. Chuck that in there. And what we can do is wrap this up. Get loads of these. So what is this Tier 1 soil actually for? I don't, you know... Maybe you guys don't understand what it is. It's basically required for certain types of seeds. So the Inferium, it says here tier one. That's because it needs at least a minimum of tier one soil to be grown on. Same sort of thing here with fire, nature, water, ice. Okay. But when I go over the dirt and the wood, they don't require that because they only require, as you know, dirt basically. So, if I go go to look at um, iron seeds, it says here, tier 2. That means it needs a tier 2 soil, basically. So, yeah. I think this one might be a 10, 10, 10, hopefully. Because this is 10, 9, 10. So, it might be... Yes, we've done it. <laughs> and there we go. There is actually a, another quest as well to get all of the seeds 10, 10, 10, I believe. Um, i never really done this before, so if I just slide down here, look, you can see, if I get all of them 10 by 10 by 10, I will actually get myself 64 tier 1 soils for free. And this kind of goes for each single one, each tier you go up, basically. So, I don't know if I'm going to do all of them, I'm just doing the ones that I feel like, I'm, you know, that I might actually need. Especially stone, because, yes, I've actually got a furnace now, guys. And I've got loads of charcoal, look. So I've got torches everywhere. There's no issues whatsoever. I've just hit F7. There's no issues whatsoever. Nothing around here can spawn. But if I kind of jump over here, you can definitely see 
things are trying to spawn in there. And yes, witches do spawn in there and endermen because obviously I made it the correct height for it. And I think I actually got some glowstone. Yeah, I did look. Three pieces of glowstone. Oh, and I got some burgers from doing some quests and um, some baked potatoes as well. Uh, I think it was from the furnace. Nope. Am I making this up? No, it might have been the basic drawer. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I got it from. I got some baked potatoes from somewhere, but I don't know where. I don't know. Either way, we've got them. Right, so this is a 767, and this is a 767. So that hasn't turned out to be very good. So we need to do that one again. But anyway, what I'm going to do is finish this one off so it's 10, 10, 10, and then we're going to actually expand this, I think. That's a bit of a plan. And yes, this is pumping out loads. This is my nature one. This is my stain one. Wow, we are stone rich. And I can finally upgrade my tools and make them all stone. I'm not sure, but this one might be the last one. This could be 10 by 10 by 10. It is. Brilliant. There we go. Nice. Right, I can chuck that in there and then. Perfect. Now, why have I made nature 10 by 10 by 10? Stone 10 by 10 by 10. And obviously, Inferium. We know why we want that 10 by 10 by 10 because we need a lot of this stuff now. Um, so we can actually start growing loads and loads and loads of different crops, basically. Uh, the reason I've done a nature is because later on I need a lot of terra moss. So let me just show you uh, soil tier two. I need this stuff called terra moss. Now you actually get this from shearing or trimming or cutting off i don't really know what you how you would call it um basically mo mossy stone and you can actually craft this stuff with stone and nature essence but i need an absolute ton of this stuff so i need four so every single time you get a tier i don't know tier two um piece of soil you need four mossy cobblestones so that's why i've done stone and nature on purpose and just because i need probably a lot of stone in the future Anyway, um, right, so I think what I'm going to do then is start by taking these Inferium seeds, taking as much soil as I can, and I'm going to take some of this water. And we'll, oops, not, not like that. I'll just take 42, it's fine. Take a stack of that. Oops, I took two stacks. There we go. And let's get rid of that a minute, and let's just type in clay, like so. And we're going to make a load of this. 21 pieces. That's perfect. Now, what I can do is make a bucket. Oops. And we could just cook this up. And then we could take that water out of there. I think I'm going to make a water, infinite water source somewhere. Uh, let's take some of them. Let's actually put them back now we're finished with them. Maybe I should make it. I don't really know where to make it. Uh, everything's so nice and symmetrical. Uh, there we go. So that's my infinite water source. And now I can literally get rid of this thing. You were lovely, but I don't really want you for now. I might use you later on because I think there is some sort of thing you can do with it with sprinklers from what I understand here. I never got this far. Well, I never bothered with it um, because the crops grow like instantly when you crouch anyway. Basically, this sprinkler speeds up crop growth or something. But like I say, I, I don't really need it because I'm just kind of... Um, just speeding it up by crouching and now they're all 10 10 10s i don't think it's gonna make much of a difference um right let's start thinking about some ladders shall we is there some other stuff in this though about ladders well there is different types wildwood wow that gives you 21 pieces okay i think if i go here and here i think that's a good idea we put the water like that. This is the part where I'm getting a bit scared about because if I fall off, you know what it is. GG, right? Let's just uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're getting a bit close now. I don't think I should go any Ooh, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna bit risk it. There we go. That will do, I think. I think that was why level three. Oh, we just seen a squid. Did you see the squid? <laughs> I can't believe I just saw a squid. Wow, look at this. This is Minecraft 1.12 for you. 
This takes a long time, doesn't it? Wow, look at my little island. Beautiful. Beautiful. Be it actually looks like a bit like a little face, doesn't it? Squiddy! <laughs> wow, I could make a squid farm. Look, there's one here. Can I get him? Oh, he's gone. So about 52 years later, I've actually made it back up here. And yeah, it's quite a fair old bit down, right? I guess it's like 62 blocks. But I've just put the water on the other side and I've just made two trapdoors look. And what I'm going to do is literally spam ladders like this. I'm just holding shift at the same time. Maybe I need to... Oh no, we've gone a bit too high. Here we go. Okay, so we've got a bit of a platform. I'm getting squids. Just keep spawning here, but it's quite good. They're giving me food. So I guess I could cook that. There's another one coming down. So I've actually made a mini squid farm here, but that water is not going to be staying there. Um, I need to, well, I need to make this a bit more secure, really. But I'm kind of lacking in resources on me at the moment. Uh, let's think about this. That's one, two, three. One, two, that will be uh, ladders there. Oh, more squids. I'm so glad I made ladders, right? <laughs> These things are so slow. Oh, wow. Are they always this slow? This is ridiculous. Anyway, we need to get some more wood and finish that side off, I guess. Uh, I need to probably make some more ladders here, really. So let's grab a load of that. And let's just make some more ladders. Here, technically, is where it is on that one, look. So I want to do seven by sevens again. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've definitely made sure that I've put half slabs here. So let's just do F7 just to check. The only things that can spawn are on those. Yep, that's perfect. That's how I wanted it. Nice. So I've just made a crafting table. I've got some dirt on me. I'm just going to make some more of this stuff. It might be enough now. No, it's not enough. Very close though. So I'm just marking this out. I reckon I can go up by three, look. Three blocks, and then I can start the next layer of crops, like that. Again, I don't really know what automation kind of things are in this pack. There might be some stuff that's going to help, but what I can do is extend this by three, like I keep doing. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is make each layer just have one around it, I think. Otherwise, I ain't going to be able to tell what's underneath, etc. When I go to find it. Yes, I think that's probably a better idea. But, obviously, these ones need to... How can I get off there? Like that? Hmm. Maybe we're going to have to have sections like this, I think. That's what we're going to have to do. Like this. So we can get off. And then we can go around. So I've gathered up all these different materials. I think this is probably going to be more than enough to get things started. Apart from I never brought down any crops because I'm an absolute idiot. Apart from these, what we have. But I remembered whilst going up there, I need to do this to put a torch on there, right? There we go. No, we actually had it just bang on in the center, didn't we? That's right. Just like so. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of do what I did up there and... Probably in each corner, just put a slab like so. And then I can easily just keep this whole area lit up, basically. Stop any mobs. I will put a torch on that as well, just in case. So, a quick progress update. I've kind of made this side over here now. It's all finished. And we can get this all lined up ready for... I don't know what I'm going to put here. Maybe nature or stone. I don't really know yet. But I think I'm going to do it this way tier one at the bottom tier six at the top i think because actually thinking about it once you get upgraded you're never really going to come down here are you 
So I might as well keep it like this. Opposite way around. This is absolutely insane. I've got so much Inferium. I don't even know what to do with it right now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to continue on building. And yeah, I kind of like what I've done here. I'm actually quite impressed with myself with coming up with this random idea. Um, it's a very, very good, easy way to keep everything organized, I think. The only thing I haven't really thought about is where do I put the basic drawers? Let's see anything. So I think I'm just going to put the basic drawers like this. I feel like that's fine. Right in the center like that. We've got stone over this side. We've got nature over this side. As you can see by the little kind of essence icon. I don't know if I need to write signs maybe. I don't know. Maybe I can just see that it's that. But yeah. We only had one 10, 10, 10. So I need to kind of spread all these. God, this is... Uh... This is becoming a big progression now. I think I'm going to take the zombie helmet off as much as I like it, but I like my googly eyes. But I like just to see my normal skin. Uh... Let's make some mossy stone. I've already made a little bit, but we're going to make absolutely tons of this stuff. Okay, that's fine. Because obviously I need to cut this off, right? So one of the quests is to actually make one of these little swords. So let's do this. Is it like that? There we go. Wooden knife. <laughs> and we've actually got the next quest ready as well. And this is on Hotel Lake. So if we get a wooden knife, we get some glowing. It can be crafted with stone and nature essence or by using terra spores. Well, we've done it with the uh, stone and nature essence, as you saw. And now I can get some moss by right clicking moss stone with a knife. So let's show you this. So. I think, how many did I need there? I think it was eight, wasn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we get Terra Moss Smoke. Easy. Now we need this stuff, like I said earlier on, to actually create um, some of this a tier two soil look. So we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Right. I need to actually make a wooden pickaxe just so I can break this stone. And then use that to get a better pickaxe. So I've just come back up here and there is some animals here. I love you guys, but I need food. <laughs> I don't care about the wolf. I don't really want a wolf. As much as I love them, I don't want it. Sorry, chicken. It had to be a chicken, right? I'm sorry. There we go. All gone. Right. Some more calamari. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, we got more of this stuff we can put away. Now, cooked chicken is absolutely terrible on this. It only gives you one hunger. So my calamari is actually better. Wow. And pork chop as well. It's terrible. Okay. That's a bit weird. So I think I'm going to make a couple of these stone wands so I can build a better. I'm going to put this wooden hoe away. There we go. And... What I'm actually going to do now is let's just go one, two, whoops, not like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, done. I think I can do something like this, no? Here we go. This is what I was trying to do. Something like this. So I can just get in and kind of shear these quite quickly. Like this. I think this tool is going to break quite quickly though. A skeleton shot me in the arm, look. But yeah, I've, uh, I've put torches over there on the mob farms. Just to kind of stop them from spawning for now. I feel like it might be causing a bit of lag. Which is a bit weird, considering, like, there's hardly any in there. I don't know why. Let me just hit F3 here. We are at 60 FPS, but if I go to video settings, I can bump this right up. And it's still saying 60 FPS. I think that's because there's a mod on here called Better FPS. I don't really want this on. I don't know. It won't change. Unfortunately, because that uh, that mod is on, but 
hopefully that kind of makes it uh, run a bit smoother because it's a bit weird that it's kind of lagging. But anyway, we got 64 of these different mosses now, which is quite cool. And we can start thinking about crafting up some of this so we can get our iron on the go. Now, we actually need something called a crystal. Is it this thing? I think it is. Okay. So we need a piece of stone and we need a block of Inferium Essence. Okay. Fairly easy to get. I'm probably just going to cook a load of that up because I need a lot of stone later on, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, right. We need to go and take a trip down to get some certain crops. Yeah, things are despawning over there, which is good. Okay. So I believe it's one stone with this wrapped all around it. Yep. That gives me the crystal. And then to upgrade these, you just literally do this like I'm doing. And there we go. Awesome. Can do a, a little bit more here. Here we go. We got quite a lot already, which is crazy. And that crystal is... Oh, no, I'm missing that one as well. I missed that one. Actually, I shouldn't go too mad here because I need to make a load of dirt as well. So what we can do is do this. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, tier two soil. Here we come. 17. Wow. It's quite a lot. What's missing? Terramos. <laughs> that Terramos, man. Nice. So that gives me 10 glowing. Perfect. Now we need aluminium and copper to get iron. That's what I want to do today. Um. Okay. How do we get that? Stone and silicone. Stone and silicone. Stone and silicone. Okay, so let's do some crop mutation here. So I need to make sure I put tier two in the middle. And then we got this. Okay. So I need some sticks as well. There we go. And it was a fire and a dirt, which needs to be hoed. There we go. This should create silicone, I believe. I hope. Come on, game. Fire seeds. <laughs> Typical. Okay, so I've just basically removed the better FPS mod that's on here. And it seems to be less laggy now, which is quite strange. But I'm still stuck at 60 FPS. I don't really know what's going on. Um... I put max frame rate unlimited. If I put it to 10, it goes yucky, obviously. But if I put it back up to unlimited, it seems to be running okay. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Maybe there's some other sort of mob that's making it disable going up unlimited um, FPS. But hey ho, I'll leave it like that for now. We'll see what happens. It seems to be a lot smoother now though, which is better. Anyway, let's continue on trying to get this silicone seed. It was just trying to drive. It was just driving me up the wall. I don't know why it's lagging. It shouldn't be lagging, really. But anyway, I have still left the mob farm off for a minute. I'm not really too fussed about that. We've got quite a lot of mob drops already. If I need to just turn it back on, I will. But I would like to automate it, really, at some point. Um, but yeah, silicone seeds. That's what we're trying to do. Finally, we got some silicone seeds. Woohoo! Okay, let's get rid of these. We don't really need these for a minute, I don't think. Uh, now we got silicone. Let's tick this one off. Perfect. Now we can make copper, I think. Nope, aluminium. Stone and silicone gives me aluminium. Aluminium. Wow, that one was super, super quick. I didn't even have to wait hardly any time then, did I? Wow. Okay, cool. Why does that say aluminium seeds 100%? Why does that say aluminium seeds 100%? <laughs> okay, we get the point. Oh dear. Did I break something? Oh, either way, we're going to continue. We'll just ignore that. Why was I hit F1? Okay, it disappears. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Uh, What was it? Aluminium and fire? I think it was. We'll grow them up. And then we'll check this. There we go. This should make copper. There we go, one copper. Boom. 
Now we got copper, we got aluminium. We can actually make iron. Yes, it's only got a 25% chance though. Oh, I shouldn't have broke that one. That was kind of pointless. But let's break this one. There we go. Sticks, stick, stick. Copper. Aluminium. And this should make iron. Hopefully. And this was my main quest of today. Get some iron. And probably off camera, I'm going to make it a 10 by 10. Come on. Give me that juicy iron. You got this. <laughs> and like that, I've got some iron seeds. Now, the question is... It, oh, that's aluminium. Is the iron seeds actually going to be 111 or not? They are. <laughs> no. I definitely want to make them 10 by 10 by 10. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dan Ross Probs. And I think next time what we're going to do is actually go on to making the tier 3 soil, which does involve quite a lot of this India quest line, which is all about Batania and mana. It's a bit crazy and I, you know, I'm quite a bit of a newbie with it, but I managed to get it all to work on my little playthrough. So I'll kind of do what I did before. Um, that's what I'm going to do anyway. And then, yeah, it kind of opens up a bit of this hotel one as well, because you kind of need to mix this with a bit of Batania, which I think this mod's the Roots mod. Is that what it's called? No, Mystical World and Roots, maybe. I don't know. It's a bit of the two, I think. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I would like to have a look a bit more into um, Ender.io as well, which is kind of this quest line, just so I can get some of these different kind of metals. Hmm. And this is all like plastic stuff. But anyway, we shall continue on eventually. And uh, yeah, let me know if you're enjoying this series. I am absolutely having a blast playing this. It's really cool to play Java sometimes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dyrus Probs, and take care. Bye! Iron Seeds! <laughs>